Hey everyone, I'm Reg of Tea Time Plans and welcome back to my channel. In case you missed it, Passion Planner just released the digital version of their planner lineup last Friday, so I decided that I wanted to make this video and talk about a few things. First, how I used the free PDF before. Next, what the difference is between the free PDF and the paid digital version. And last but not the least, just a quick overview of the Digital Elite 2021 Weekly Data Planner that I got. So, let's get started! If you've been following me since I switched to digital last year, you would know that around December of 2019 and January of 2020, I was using the free PDF version of the Passion Planner. I started using it on December and it was included in most of my Vlogmas 2019 videos. I'll put the links below for your reference. I tried it out and I really loved it. I wasn't really able to fill out all the days of the week for the month of December because I just got too busy to figure things out, but it really worked well for me because I'm a weekly layout person. Overall, it was so functional, but the downside was that it didn't have any tabs or hyperlinks. But this wasn't a huge deal breaker for me back in 2019 as I only had one month left in the year when I started using this. When 2020 was getting nearer, I downloaded the new file and started setting it up. Since it didn't have any tabs or hyperlinks, I had to create an outline using good notes for each of the month. It was a very tedious thing to do and set up and felt like it wasn't working out for me back then. I used this consistently on January and then I changed planners on February. But this copy had all the birthdays and events that I usually set up before the new year starts. I also put my color coding guide under the space of infinite possibility and tried to process what I wanted to happen for this year using the roadmap. That brings us to the main difference of this free PDF planner to the paid digital version. If you're looking for ease of access, you would have to customize the free PDF download with bookmarks and outlines so you can use it effectively. Now I'm going to give you an overview of next year's Elite Weekly Data Digital Planner. It has its own cover page and consists of 92 pages initially. This can actually increase and I'm going to discuss how that can be later on. The features of the digital planner are almost the same as the free PDF one, except this dated one is hyperlinked and has useful tabs. The first part is the filler page, which I don't think is really necessary for the digital version, but I think would be useful if people decide to print out their planner once it's filled out. The digital planner has different tabs for ease of access. As you can see, we have here the roadmap, year, month, and the monthly review. And then we have on the bottom right side, blank, dot, grid, and a sticker page. And you can also see the different monthly tabs on the right side. This was what was missing with the free PDF version, which made me look into other tabs and hyperlinked planners for this year. So I'm really, really glad that they're releasing a fully hyperlinked and tabbed version of the Passion Plan. If you tap on the Roadmap tab, you'll see the Roadmap page for the start of the year. It's pretty much the same as the previous Passion Planners, both the free PDF and the paper ones, but this time you also have the option to tap on the link above to direct you to the Mid-Year page. This gives you ease of access to switch between the two roadmaps whenever you like. When we tap on the Year tab, we'll see the yearly calendars from 2020 to 2023. As for the Month tab, it gives us the access to the Monthly section. The links of the monthly pages are on the top of the page, and if you tap each one, it'll bring you to each respective month for the year. Aside from the links to each month, for each monthly page, there are also other hyperlinks included. For example, if I tap on week 53, it will direct me to the 53rd week or the first week of this planner. It's one of the reasons why I opted for the dated version because I've been using a dated planners for the past few months. If you go back to the month and tap on the other weeks, it will direct you to the specific week you tapped on. As you can see, this planner will start on December 28th of this year. The other sections are pretty much the same as the paper passion planner, so I don't think I need to discuss that anymore. We now go to the monthly reflection tab. 
As you can see, all the multi reflections are accessible in one place with the hyperlinks found at the top of the page too. We also have a hyperlink of the end of year reflection. I think it's a really good idea to put them all in one place. Next, we have the blank page tab, which you can just duplicate later on. I know most of those from the Passion Planner community who have been using the paper planners are also curious how these templates work, so I'm going to show you quickly. You can just copy a page and let's say I want to insert the blank page after this week. I'm just going to tap on the add page and paste and it will insert the blank page after the current page you have opened but it will not affect the hyperlinks that are already existing. That's how good hyperlink planners are. We have a dotted page as well. I'm not sure if you can see the dots. My phone's camera isn't really that good enough to capture this. And then the grid page. And then we have a page where we can store our favorite stickers. Let me open some sticker sheets from Passion Planner as well so I can show you. I can just lasso a sticker and then drag it into the next page or the sticker page of the planner so I don't have to open this sticker book every time. There are five pages reserved for the stickers, but you can just easily duplicate the pages if you want to add some more. Now we can go to the monthly tabs on the right side of the planner. Each tab will lead to the first week of the month when you tap on it. For January, it's the week of December 28 to January 3. And then if you tap on February, it will direct you to that month's first week as well. Pretty much the same for the rest of the months. As you can see, I opted for the Elite Black variant because I want a monochromatic look to my planner and I'm pretty sure I'll be adding stickers later on and those should balance out my spreads with colors. We also have hyperlinks on the weekly pages that you can see on the upper left corner where the mini calendar is. So it's really more convenient this time and it's the very reason why I'm going back to using Passion Planner for 2021. For the next couple of months, I will be working on setting up this planner and will be uploading those. I'll probably start with the plan with me videos again by next year. An honest feedback I can give though is a dismay on the pricing of the digital planners. I get that much work is required to make completely hyperlinked and tabbed planners, but I don't think having the paper planner and digital one have the same price is really good. But it's just my two cents. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and then subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also turn on your notifications so you'll know when I upload a new one. Keep safe and stay healthy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!